For this 10 byte, I want to show you one of my favorite physics toys. It's called a gyroscope. So a gyroscope is a metal circle, and inside of it is this rotating disc. There's a string wrapped around the bottom, and if I pull it, it'll spin really fast. If I were to just put the gyroscope on this stand without spinning it, it would fall over. But if I spin it up, uh, yeah. That is so awesome. It stands up on its end. This is due to what's called the conservation of angular momentum. While this thing is spinning, it has a ton of angular momentum, kind of like a, a momentum of rotation. And angular momentum is one of those quantities in the universe that's conserved, like energy or charge. When I set it right here, the angular momentum is like it's pointing in one particular direction. And it tries to stay pointing in that direction. But now you're like, why is it spinning around like that? Well, because <clears throat> that's actually a whole nother thing called precession. Maybe we'll talk about that another time. The amazing thing is that the conservation of angular momentum prevents this thing from tipping all the way over, even if I start it way on its side. Remember, if the gyroscope isn't spinning, it just falls right over. The conservation of angular momentum is important for more than just toys. When you're riding a bicycle, the conservation of angular momentum makes it almost impossible for the bike to tip over while you're going really fast. When the bike's sitting still, if I let it go, it tips over. But if I were to give it a push forward and let it go, it keeps going a long ways. Oh, oops. Let me show you another way. Here I've got my tire and a little bungee cord. If I just hang the tire from the cord and don't spin it, but if I can spin the tire quickly, and then let it go, the tire will actually stay upright. Slow it down, and it tips right back over. That's the conservation of angular momentum working for you. Stand by.